Alright guys, this is a first. I put the slide out and one of our bay doors popped open while we were driving on this road. It's not even that bumpy and the chair got stuck underneath the slide and I heard something like crack but I wasn't sure what it was. That has never happened. Alright, I don't really know what happened here but shoot. Thankfully it seems as though the slide is working and now the chair's free. Uh, chair's a little bent. Um, oh my gosh it's super bent. Look at that. And right there. The slide seems to be okay. We've been thinking about replacing these chairs anyway because they're kind of hard to get in and out, but I don't know how the bay, the bay door must have opened I think when I, the when the chair like came out. I think yeah, I think the chair forced the door open. Yeah, is this okay? I, it looks like it. Um, and this is what when our slide opens. This is the hydraulic pushes this. Um, whatever I don't know what to call this. It's like on a slide. I mean that's what the slide calls is called, but. Um, this slides out, and I never even really thought about that. Me either. Um, but that's what got caught on the chair. Well, anyway, so now we gotta figure out either different chairs to get, different place to put the chairs. Oh, this doesn't. Close Ooh, anymore. it's definitely bent. I thought it didn't look right. Like this is this doesn't look right to me. Or is it this? Oh. This. Is that bent? If you guys know us, you know that we have problems with our bay latch, bay latches mm. getting stuck. Oh, and I have to call Ella. Ella! Ella, come! Here she is! Hello! Good girl. Anyway, not cool. More crap to fix. And when I was putting this slide out, the other one, our trim piece came off. So we gotta fix that too now. Hopped off the trim. <sighs> huh? Welcome to Lake Havasu. Not even at Lake Havasu. We're close. Is this place called Parker? Parker. We're in Parker. Can I put this slide back out now, you think? Yep. Okay. Balls. What are you going to do? That's RV life for you. i going to put this out. Oh, right rear. Out. Man, that's a bummer. But, Garrett will fix it. He always does. We might need a new, like, bay latch, though. We should probably just get a couple. Just to have. Alright, let's see what else Lake Havasu has in store for us. All right, we are hanging out near Lake Havasu City. Uh, we're here just for the weekend, um, just for a couple days. We're on our way from Phoenix towards uh, kind of like Vegas or something like that. But um, we have some time to kill this afternoon, so we are going to try and see if we can get the bathroom sink, um, the new bathroom sink, to fit. I do not think it's going to fit. I think it's too big, but we'll see. This is our current sink. It's uh, plastic. It's not very big, um, it's also not very deep. Um, the new sink, I'm afraid, I'm just afraid it's not going to fit because the lip here, um, in here, like it's just way wider. Um, and so I think it's going to hang over this ledge here, or um, there's not going to be enough room in the back for it. Because like we only have like an inch on either side um, to spare, so. This sink should be pretty easy to get out. Uh, there's just a couple, I don't know if you can see it, like up right up here, um, there's a couple of pieces that are holding it down. Uh, and then there's just the drain. Um, and then there's the, there's the water line, which comes up in the back, back here. Uh, but those are really easy to unscrew.
<laughs> All right, we got it out. The drain is really gross. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's full of all sorts of gross stuff. So this came with a template. I guess we'll just see if this fits. It's so close. I think it'll fit. So what are we gonna do? Go to the go to the store and get. Okay, well here's the thing that I'm a little worried about. This is not parts of the sink are not like it doesn't. It's not gonna fully cover. I don't know. I mean, it might, but where the old sink was, I mean, we can just clean this off, I guess. Yeah, this came off like real easy on the other. Um. So it fits, except for um, right here in the front, there's like this extra drain. There's like the little hole that prevents it from overflowing, this guy. Um, that is what's keeping it from going in all the way. So I'm pretty sure we can get it to fit. Uh, and underneath, it's about the same height as the old one was, so. Um, oh, gross. Okay, let's see what we got. This is the cutout. Um, this sink came out with, came with a nice template, um, so you don't have to like flip the sink upside down or anything. So we actually, I think it's actually gonna fit. Um, we just need to cut a little bit of a little bit of this area right here to allow um, the extra kind of overflow drain. To fit. I'm not actually going to cut it um, as far as the template came out. The template says we should cut it right to this line like where the old putty was. Um, but I'm just going to kind of shave it off little pieces at a time and we'll, you know, once it fits, it fits. We got the hole uh, cut just big enough. Now we just need to clean off the edges where we're gonna lay the caulk, and then uh, we'll put it all together. So Lindsay is cleaning out the uh, the drain and the trap with some vinegar. Except the water's turned off right now because the faucet hasn't been hooked up. And this Don't is and this is what came out. Oh, toxic sludge. It's really gross. It's like 12 years worth of. This sink doesn't actually have anything to attach it to the countertop, so we're hoping that the we're hoping that the silicone does a good enough job at keeping it in place and that it doesn't jiggle free. Um, if it jiggles free, then that'll stink. But we're using silicone caulk to hold on some stuff in the walls of the shower, and that's been fine so far. So we'll see how this goes. Looks good. We just have to tighten it down. Moment of truth. I think we might be good down here. This is like a boondocking no no, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you think the hot and cold are right? Yep. Cool. Awesome. Looks good. No leaking? Uh, not that I can tell. Not Yay! Right awesome. 
Well then all that's left is to, we're gonna put the rest of the caulk that we have underneath this lip here. Um, that's just like how it was gonna work out. It wasn't going to be totally flat um, with the countertop. So we're just gonna shove a bunch of caulk under here and call it good. It looks beauteous. Thank you. You're welcome. That looks great. I think so. And it fit. Eat your words. Hey. What? Well, it fits relative. It does fit. It fits. No one is going to say holy sink when they walk in, so you stand corrected. That is going to wrap up today's project. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave those down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for living life with us today, and we'll see you guys in the next video.